All right, today we're gonna to write another response post, but this time to give you a little bit of help, first of all, with um, coming up with additional subheadings, but also with writing multiple answer targets, multiple answer paragraphs in your blog post, I want you to write a post where you take at least two of the questions from people also ask, and you include those in the blog post. Again, each one maybe could be under its own subheading, um, but it could also be that uh, some of these questions are really pertinent and related to each other, in which case they could go under one subheading and you just have an answer paragraph for each. This is gonna give you the opportunity to potentially win a Google snippet for not only the main search query, where you have an answer paragraph at the beginning of the post, but also for those additional people also ask search queries, giving you even more opportunities to rank for more search terms and get seen by more people. Now, let me just show you the people also ask for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about. Um, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do a search. Um, are chip monks squirrels? We got this question here. We got some information, da, 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 da. But look, there's this section, people also ask. Now, are chipmunks a type of squirrel? That's really the same question. That one's not gonna work. What's the difference between a squirrel and a chipmunk? That isn't the same question. It seems really related, but it's not quite the same question. Writing an answer target for are chipmunks squirrels and a separate for what's the difference between them is a great way to rank for both of these terms. Can a squirrel and a chipmunk mate? And are chipmunks dangerous? The dangerous one feels like maybe we're going a little bit far afield, but Google thinks it's related enough. So um, one or two or even three of these could potentially work. If you pick a topic for this blog post and come to the people also ask and find that there isn't this section, it just doesn't exist, or that the questions are just totally off, they just aren't related enough, and then just go ahead and pick a different topic for today's exercise. I think it's a great opportunity though to practice flexing that muscle and learning a little bit more how to write multiple answered paragraphs um, so that this blog post can rank for multiple search terms.